not the nicest fallout to that England South Africa game. So the latest on this Tom Curry situation is that World Rugby say there is insufficient evidence to charge Bongi and Banambi over the alleged racist remark to Curry. They say they accept the allegation was made in good faith. England really not happy about this. Steve Borthwick said World Rugby didn't allow the victim's voice to be heard. It's very emotive language. The RFU said the uh, decision not to put this before an independent panel uh, is uh, very disappointing and really Tom Curry should have had the opportunity to talk to an independent panel. World Rugby say, look, we didn't have enough evidence to do that and uh, therefore we won't proceed. He has received monumental abuse online, really shocking stuff. Sia Khaleesi has even reached out to him. Uh, the South African Rugby Union say they have absolute faith in the honesty and integrity of Bongi and Banambi. Difficult case for World Rugby to manage. They didn't have sufficient evidence. Have you any issues with the last week on their part? I, I do. Uh, justice must not only be done, it must be seen to be done. Now, the RFU, the English Rugby Union, are hardly a left-wing, hard left-wing organisation. They came out in their statement was unbelievably strong. Some of the strongest language I've ever heard from them on a subject. And I think what w I certainly feel, I know a lot of people in the rugby world feel, is the process was not done correctly. I don't know what happened, no one does. But the process should have been put in front of an independent panel. They should have heard from Curry and then they make a decision. Now, if we, it, the, the trouble is that world rugby has form. The process they went through with Johnny Sexton when he, after the semi-final, his discussions with the referee took months. Owen Farrell's high tackle in the warm-up was dismissed, brought back. Their, their disciplinary processes are, have been really poor for the last six months. Now, I'm not making... None of us can pass judgement on what or occurred or what did not occur, mm. but the process of justice for Curry and the way they've gone about that, it really leaves them open to criticism and leaves the game open to criticism. That's disappointing. I think proof, Shane, might be beyond everybody here. Once it wasn't picked up in a microphone, proof is good, you know, very difficult to establish. The English contention is Tom Curry should have been put before a panel. It's, it's hard to push back on that, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. I think you're right. I think that sort of the level of evidence that's needed to, to uphold this complaint would have to be very, very high as well. It's a he said, she said situation. So without verifiable, independent, third party evidence, it's very, very difficult and I don't think it would be upheld. Mm. That's not to say, to Matt's point, that the least you should do is hear out the complainant and, you know, in the fullest possible um, yeah, extent. And again, as Matt said, not, not just for justice to, to be done, but also to be seen to be done as well. And I think it's important for the integrity of the game. Yeah, okay. 100%. Integrity of the game is, the, is the, key, the key phrase. Yeah, and I think also we don't... Matt speaks about the process, but we've no idea... There's no transparency around what the process actually looks like. Mm. And I think if, if, they, if they let the public in on what the process looks like, then there might be a little bit more buy-in. But at the moment, it's sort of, it's very cloak and dagger behind closed doors. And then they come out with this blanket statement and no one really has any idea what's going on. Yeah. So I think they could help themselves and, and win a little bit more public sentiment if they were more upfront and transparent about how they're going about, uh, about their business. Okay, explain why there is insufficient evidence yeah. in a bit more detail I think perhaps. so. Okay. Yeah.